In Dollar Tree right now, there's a whole bunch of new stuff on the shelves that I wanted to try out to see if they are worth your dollar for when you buy them for your kids. Today we're doing a Dollar Tree toy test. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. Recently, I did a Dollar Tree shop with me and there's a lot of new stuff over there. And in that video, I asked you guys if you wanted to see a Dollar Tree toy test with some of the new things that they have on the shelf. So I got a whole bunch and we're gonna try them out to see if they are worth your dollar before you buy them for your kids. I think I'm gonna start off with this Turbo Wheels truck. So this came in a couple of different styles and we've seen kits like this before at Dollar Tree. However, this kit itself is rather new, which is why I wanted to try it out to see if it would be a good option for your kids. So the one I got was the little cement mixer one. It says it has 14 pieces in here and the ages are three and up. So let's take it out, see what we get. It says on the box that you are able to kind of connect all the pieces with the screwdriver that it comes with. And so I guess I'm checking to see if it would be good for a younger child. And there are a lot of pieces. So I have a child that likes to put things together and build things. So that she probably really would have liked something like this. Okay, so we got a couple pieces here. Here's the mixer. Here's the truck, body of the truck. We got some wheels, we have some screws, and then here is the screwdriver. The pieces themselves, I would have to say, are actually pretty impressive. Usually Dollar Tree, they're very flimsy and easy to break, but this is pretty solid. Looks like we have a part here where screws to go in, and then we also have holes here where all the other screws go in, so we know where to put it in. So let's put this on the back. It fits right in there pretty snug. And then all of these screws look to be the same size, so I'll just pick one and put it in. Okay, nice. That went in really, really easily. I want to know if you can take it out too, because if you have a screwdriver, of course your kids are going to want to take it out, right? Oh yeah, very easy and simple. Okay, I have to be honest with you. I actually thought I wasn't going to like this, but this is actually pretty cool. The little cement mixer here turns, the car moves, the pieces come on and off, and the quality is pretty decent. I would have to say this is probably one of the better Dollar Tree trucks as far as the functionality. So this is for three years and up, but I really don't see a three-year-old having much success with this. I'd probably say your five-year-old and up would probably enjoy it the most. But if you have a three-year-old who's really, really into constructing things, it might be simple enough for them to do but I really like that you have a cool truck afterward. You might want to even consider getting the whole set. Great stocking stuffer on these and they really do work. This is pretty cool. You could put this in like a kinetic sand sensory bin. That would be really cool. We're going to give this one a thumbs up. Next up, let's try the Fidget Popper. Now this is from Orb. Orb is a name brand that you would see also at Target as well. They do a lot of slime things. And this is actually a dupe for another brand's dimple fidget toy. So I was very curious because I think it was Fat Brain Toys has that one. And we all know fidget toys are the rage and we are really liking that we're seeing more fidgets at Dollar Tree. So it's a little bit bigger than the one that we have. Now we have that name brand one. It's an actual keychain. It has a little keychain on it. This doesn't have a keychain attached to it, but you could definitely add one here if you wanted to. And the idea for this one is that it's just like a bubble popper, but it's a smaller size, so it's handheld. Now the thing with these fidget toys, and especially the bubble poppers, is everyone knows there's a good side and usually a bad side. The name brand of this one, both of them are good sides. So I'd have to say there is a bad side, but they both pop just as well. And you can stay hold it in my hand here, which is a really great thing because then you can have a smaller one. The keychain one that we have is actually a little bit smaller than this one. It's not as large, and so you could probably hold it in your hand and nobody would see it. So this is a little bit bigger. But I'm going to have to tell you guys, this one is a win. It comes in two different colors that I've seen before. This is great. I like the size. I like how it feels in your hand. It's got two bubbles on it and it comes in different colors. Big thumbs up, you guys. You gotta grab these. Next up, I want to try the Goofy Putty. So the Goofy Putty came in a couple different colors. I got the one that was glow in the dark because I really wanted to see if it was glow in the dark. And this is a dupe for Silly Putty. So Dollar Tree usually has Silly Putty in their stores, but I just wanted to try this out to see if it was equivalent because it glows in the dark. And it bounces, it stretches just like Silly Putty does. It says it pulls up newsprint just like Silly Putty does. It's for ages three and up. So let's take this out. They have it in the egg just like they normally do. My store had a couple different colors, I think, if I recall. So we got the egg. Let me take off the plastic. Egg itself is not as sturdy as the Silly Putty egg, I will tell you right now. This is just like the cheap plastic eggs that you'd have around Easter time. Just letting you know. Hmm, gotta get this out. Usually with Silly Putty, it's it doesn't stick to the egg. It doesn't stick to anything. I'm having a hard time getting it out. Finally got it. Okay, so that wasn't a good thing. All right, maybe if I warm it up here in my hands, because it's kind of hard. It's not really moving much. Silly Putty is a little bit softer than name brand is, and you're able to move it a little bit. So I'm just gonna kind of work with it here in my hands 
hands to see if it changes with the heat of my palm. Mm, it's okay, you guys. It feels like it's been sitting out for a long time. Stretchable, yes, very stretchy. Maybe that will help. See, it keeps breaking. Maybe I got a bad one. Okay, bouncing. Let's see if it bounces. I'll roll it in a ball. Okay, it kind of bounces. I feel like Silly Putty bounces more like a bouncy ball. So I went ahead and took this into a dark room, you guys, and it did not, it did not glow. Not at all, so it doesn't even do what it's supposed to do. We're gonna have to give this one a thumbs down. All right, we have the Scatter Matter. This one came in a couple of different colors. I was curious because I really do like the container they put it in, and I like the normal name brand. So the name brand, I think, is Fluffle or Pluffle, and that one I've had before and really have liked it. So we're gonna try this one to see if it even comes close to comparing. Got a really dirty activity tray here to put it on. Let me open this up and give you an idea. So the concept behind this is it's kind of like a sensory bin material or a sensory material. And it, it kind of moves or kind of wiggles a little bit when you play with it. So I know what the name brand feels like. Come on, come out. It's not coming out, you guys. I know what the name brand feels like, so I can kind of compare it to the name brand. And it's not supposed to dry out. It's not coming out of the container though, so I can even show you. So I couldn't even really get all of it out there without putting something down under there. I don't have something to put it in, so that's disappointing. And then it comes out kind of in pieces. Now the name brand one does have it in pieces too, but it's more, I don't know, it sticks together a little bit better. And when you hold it in your hand, it feels like it kind of moves and this isn't doing it. And it's all like all over the place. It feels nice though, you guys, it, it does feel soft and non-threatening. I don't know, I really wanted to like this, but I would have to say it's not the same at all. It's kind of doing a little bit of movement. I know it's kind of crazy to explain this, but usually there's just like a little bit of movement when you hold it. And this one is not quite doing it like the other sensory material. If you are doing a budget sensory bin or a playscape and you just need a little extra something for them to play with, this could work, but it's not the same as the name brand stuff. Not even, it doesn't even come close to the name brand stuff. Guys, I'm going to have to give this one a thumbs down just based on that. So don't get this for your kids if you really want the like good quality stuff. Like I said, in a pinch, if you need something just really simple and basic to do a playscape and the colors match, then it'll work, but it's not doing what it's supposed to do. Or like the name brand one, does. I'm kind of disappointed. Next up, we have our crystal kits. These are brand new. They had three different ones in my store. We got the crystal llama and the crystal dragon. They're recommending these for ages eight and up. We have done crystal kits before from Dollar Tree and they were kind of okay. They were acceptable. I think they were like in a really early Dollar Tree toy test I've done. So we're going to set these up and let them grow. It says they grow within 24 hours. So I'm going to insert a clip from the next day and let you know how they did. Here's our result from overnight. So we do have some crystals on there and not as many on this one. It's supposed to go for about 24 hours. I kind of expected a little bit more. So I would say it did what it's supposed to do, but just not fully yet, but I won't know for a couple more hours. So maybe I'll update you guys on Instagram later. We're gonna be indecisive on this one and I'm not gonna rate it just yet but here's what we have so far. If you like these Dollar Tree toy tests, I'm gonna put another one up here on the screen to check out after you watch this one. You guys click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.